Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys do not know, I made my first video on January 1st of 2013. So going into 2018 is going to be my fifth year on YouTube. It's crazy, I love doing YouTube. So on January 1st of every year since then, I like to create a video in recognition of that, I guess is the word, the way to say it. So today I'm making a video of my New Year's resolutions because I always like to create some. These are not very, very hard ones. These are ones that I can just easily do and better myself. Um, some people like to make crazy New Year's resolutions that they know they will never accomplish. Mine are very, very simple and I know that I will be able to accomplish them in this year, especially with all the new things that are gonna be coming at me this year. I'm going to be graduating high school. I'm going to be attending my first year or first semester of college this year. Um, a lot is going to happen this year, so I want to be able to accomplish my New Year's resolutions and not have those things put me back, I guess. <sighs> this year has been a whirlwind of events. It's been filled with so many ups and so many downs, but 2018 is a new year and it's a fresh start. I'm super excited. Also, I'm getting into bullet journaling. So I just got my first bullet journal and I'm gonna be making videos on that. If you guys want them, I'm gonna make them. And I'm not an artist, but I really like to do them. I'm not like the best artist, I'm not the worst. I'm, I think I'd say I'm decent. So I'm so excited for this year to come. I'm gonna show you guys my resolutions real quick. In no particular order, I'm gonna start off with my first one, which is to straighten my hair less. Speaking of straightening my hair less, my hair is straightened right now. But um, for this year, 2017, I straightened my hair once a month, pretty much. I may have straightened it twice a month, but for the most gist of it, I straightened it once a month. And I could accomplish that. So for the upcoming year, I was thinking about trying to straighten it only once every season, but that's gonna be really, really hard. So then I changed my mind and I was gonna do straighten my hair once every other month. I think that's accomplishable. It's very nice. I can do less if I want to, but I know there's gonna be major events in there like prom and graduation and moving into college and stuff like, well, I moving into college, you don't have straight hair. Stuff like that, that I don't wanna to have to have my curly hair. That sounds really bad. Like, it's gonna like work your curly hair, but sometimes curly hair is unpredictable and straight hair, I just know what's going to happen. So for things like prom and graduation, I like to have straight hair just because I don't wanna have like a bad hair day. For now, it's gonna be straight my hair once every other month. My next resolution I'm super excited about is to talk to my family more. My family is from all over the country. I have family that lives in South Carolina. I have family that lives in Mississippi. I have family that lives in Oregon. Family that lives in California. Family that lives in Washington, all over the West Coast. So talking to my family more is something that's very important to me. Especially my mom and my grandparents. I don't talk to them enough. I need to talk to them more often. So I made some resolution and I'm gonna try to talk to them at least once a week. That's a big deal for me. I don't want to talk to them on the phone at all. Maybe sending a text, updating them on my life or something like that will do, but I'm gonna try and talk to them on the phone once a week. I'll let you guys know at the end of the year how that's come out. Throughout the whole month of December, as you guys know, before Christmas, I uploaded a video every single day. My goal for this year of 2018 is not to upload every single day, but it's to spend more time on my videos. Um, right now, I would say I spend a little bit of time, but I sometimes just try and edit them and then put them up because I waited till the last minute. So I'm not gonna waste the last minute. I'm gonna spend way more time filming and editing them, making them the best I can possibly do. Therefore, increasing my subscriber count, hopefully. My next resolution is to speak up. If you guys do not know, I'm a very, very shy, introverted person. I don't like talking to people. I don't like talking to people about my problems. I don't like saying something when something is wrong when I can clearly tell. So in 2018, my biggest goal is to speak up and speak up for myself, speak up for other people and just whatever. If I see something that's wrong, I want to be able to go out and speak up about the issue. Now, instead of putting eat healthy as a goal on my resolution list, I wanted to put eat more veggies because as it is, I don't eat super unhealthy. I don't eat all often. I don't eat pizza every night. I don't eat like super unhealthy. It could be healthier, but I don't eat that. So instead of putting that, I put eat more veggies. I only like the select few amount of veggies. I like broccoli, I like corn, I like green beans, I like spinach, I like salads. But that's about it. I hate any other veggies, ew. No, I love fruits though. So for 2018, I wanna find another veggie that I love. Actually, I think in 2017 or 2016, I can't remember, I just hate broccoli. And now I love broccoli, I eat it all the time. So I've done with broccoli, I can do it with some more things, I just need to try. In 2017, I actually got my first gym membership and I've been going to the gym 
infrequently. <laughs> um, I did go a whole bunch when I was in my family and I did the stairs up challenge, but other than that, I had no motivation. Well, in April, it's spring break, I'm going on a super fun spring break trip, and I want to have a good body. Not only just to look good, but also to be healthy and stuff, so for this year, I want to try and have a scheduled workout plan. My mom actually has created one for me, she's going to be a personal trainer. So if you guys want to see a video on my workout plan, or my workout, workout with me or something for 2018, let me know, I would totally do that. Just let me know in the comments, I just haven't started it yet, because it's for 2018. Um, but today, I'm starting it. I want 2018 to be a year for myself, a year for me to do things for me and only me. Obviously, giving back and stuff and doing stuff for my family, that's gonna happen, but I don't want to do things because other people want me to do them. I want to do them because I truly want to do it and I truly enjoy what I'm doing. Something in 2017 that I did is I did things for other people and um, it doesn't always leave you the happiest if you don't want to do it, you're just doing it because someone else needs to do it. So this year, I want to only do things for myself and do them because I actually want to do them. Um, speaking of that, I don't know if I want to have a relationship. It would be awesome to have a year just flourishing on my own without a relationship. If a relationship does come up, it comes up. But I don't think I'm actively seeking one for 2018. My next resolution is to read more. Um, I don't read. I, I should. I'm in AP classes and I still hate reading. <laughs> so for Christmas, my sister actually gave me two books, You're a Badass and Milk and Honey. Those are like kind of self-help books that you can read. So I have them over here. I'm going to try and start reading them um, before I go to bed. So speaking along with trying to read more, I want to not watch YouTube before bed. Um, <laughs> YouTube is my favorite pastime. I will do it all my 24 hours if I could. So before bed, I will be on my laptop and then I'll watch YouTube and then I'll shut my laptop and go to bed. That's not really good for you. You don't get a whole nice sleep. So I'm going to try and do maybe for an hour, maybe for 30 minutes before bed. Set the YouTube aside, or maybe you did not watch YouTube before, and read a book. Either that, whether that means reading a book for school, reading a textbook that I have to read for school, for class, reading uh, a book of my own, whatever it means, reading a book in Spanish, whatever it means, I need to read before bed. Um, not only will I expand my vocabulary, because reading does expand your vocabulary, but I think it'll be better for myself than watching YouTube videos. My next goal is to meet new people. I know this is going to happen, it's gonna be very hard for me, but it's gonna happen because I'm going to college. And when you go to college, you're gonna have to meet new people. You can't stay in the same circle all the time. So, um, I haven't decided what college I'm going to yet. I'm picking between three. I'm making a whole video on that later in this year, like April -ish. I don't know. Whenever you decide when you're going to college, I don't know. I've just been like writing this line of college and I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Most people don't. So I know I'm going to meet new people, so I think this is a big goal, but I want to get step out of my comfort zone to meet new people. Like when I go to fall, when I go to college, I want to have a person that I know in every single class. I don't know. I think that it's very important for myself and for my well-being. So yeah, those are just a couple of my New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals for 2018. I'm pretty confident that I can accomplish all these, and I'm just super excited for the year to come, a fresh start, a new year, and to end this year, 2017. I guess it's already 2018 today because it's my five year anniversary on YouTube which is insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video in 2018. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. I am the